Well, hello there! Have you already developed a mobile app? If yes, then that's awesome! But if you haven't, I think I know the reason why you haven't yet done so. With today's rapidly evolving technology, there are hundreds or even thousands of tools that can help you to build a stunning mobile application. However, it is still difficult to create one as these new tools and frameworks in the market usually require you to already know how to program in Java or Objective-C language. You know, experienced programmers are also having a hard time developing even a simple Hello World program, as it also takes a lot of code and configurations to render a simple text box. That's why I understand when students and fellow programmers say that mobile development is difficult to do. Thus, this makes you wonder if there is something that can help you to develop a mobile app using the common web technologies you already know, such as HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So you won't need to spend a lot of time learning Java, Objective-C, and Swift. Is there a framework that lets you easily compose a rich user interface with just a few lines of code? And is it possible to write one single code base that can run on both Android and iOS platforms? Well, if you're also asking the same questions, then good news, because the new React Native framework is here. First off, what is React Native? React Native is a framework that is based from React.js that enables you to build amazing mobile applications just only using the common JavaScript language. Since it is based from React.js, it also allows you to compose a rich mobile user interface from declarative components. And just like the React.js and React VR, the React Native framework is maintained by Facebook. Okay. Before we proceed, you might be thinking that since you are just using JavaScript, the app it produces is merely a mobile web app and probably performs slower like hybrid apps built in Apache Cordova or other frameworks. Actually, this is not the case, as the React Native framework calls the same fundamental UI blocks that the native iOS and Android apps also use. You can also add native components that are written in Objective-C Swift, or Java inside your React Native JavaScript code base. And with that, you can now develop your mobile apps in a matter of days instead of months. In addition, you don't need to invest a significant amount of time learning native mobile programming language as you only need to know basic JavaScript, HTML, and CSS to build your own mobile app. React Native has three distinct advantages. First, it produces a true native mobile application and not just a hybrid type, like the ones generated by Apache Cordova, Ionic, and other JavaScript-based mobile development framework. And since it's also using the same UI APIs, which is also what the native iOS and Android apps use, its performance is much faster than the others. Second, it enables you to develop your apps faster with their hot reloading feature that instantly reflects the changes from your JavaScript code base directly to your mobile emulator, saving you hundreds of hours from doing those boring recompilations. Lastly, it allows an easy integration of Objective-C, Java, or Swift mobile native code to your app, giving you that extra flexibility and power to use an existing native component. Let's now take a quick look of the history of React Native. Rumor has it that this framework started as an internal hackathon project way back in 2013. And about two years after that, the public GitHub repository was created on January 2015. And on the F8 conference of that same year, Facebook unveiled React Native to the public. Apparently, this is quite a new and rapidly evolving framework so you should always be updated on its new features and changes every now and then. In this course, we learn how to develop iOS and Android apps using our React Native framework. So, are you ready to build your first mobile app? Ready? Then let's go!